Alright, real quick, like and subscribe in the next 10 seconds if y'all want the best badges on NBA 2K21. And I also hit a PSN code throughout the video, so make sure y'all boys watch the entire video if you want the PSN code. Yes, sir, man. What's good with y'all boys, man? It's your boy BCS Poppy. Hey, I'm back at it again with another banger. All right, so as y'all boys can tell by the thumbnail and title, bro, today I'm going to show y'all the best shooting badges to use on NBA 2K21 current gen. Now, as y'all boys know, you know what I'm saying? I do not miss you, feel me? Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. So, look, I'm going to show y'all the best, you know what I'm saying, all the badges that you need, the green or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So, look. Before we even get into this video, make sure y'all boys drop a like button under the video right now. You know what I'm saying? We've been running it up, you feel me? So look, make sure y'all boys drop a like. And without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. Simple. All right, so look, bro. Off the rip, bro, I'm going to show y'all my badges and what I would put on. So I'm, I'm going to take all my badges off, you feel me? And I'm going to put it on as if, you know what I'm saying, started from best to worst. I'm going to show y'all what badges you need to put on as a guard and what badges, you know what I'm saying, the most, the most needed badges. All right, so look. First off. The first badge that you should automatically put on, bro, is range extender, bro. Now, I put this on Hall of Fame, you feel me? Because, you know what I'm saying, at Hall of Fame, you, you got to have a Hall of Fame anyways. If you want to shoot, you know what I'm saying, behind the, the pass or in front of half court, with tape, without tape, whatever, you have to have range extender on Hall of Fame. Bro. If you don't, you're not going to be able to shoot. That's just simple. You got to have this. Even if you're not even a play shot, even if you were a lot with a 73 ball, bro, you have to have range extender on Hall of Fame. No, no excuse, no none of that if you don't have it on Hall of Fame, bro. This is a must-have badge right here, bro. So, look. Had this on Hall of Fame, bro. You could probably get away with having it on gold. Well, no, 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 no. Just keep it on Hall of Fame. I never took it down below Hall of Fame, but you probably could get away with it, but I wouldn't recommend it, bro. Unless unless you just don't got a lot of shooting badges. Like, as you can see, I only got 23, you feel me? So, if you got less than that, then you probably could get away with it on gold, but if you got enough, bro, keep it on Hall of Fame. So, the next badge that you must have in order to green, Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter. Now, this, I would not put this on anything other than Hall of Fame, bro. Because if you have Hot Zones, you're not going to miss. Now, starting off, you probably going to have Cold Zones or whatever. But if you go to my career and get your Hot Zones or if you start shooting good in the park and get your Hot Zones, you will be straight. I'm telling you, you're not going to. With this badge alone, bro, you probably don't even need any other badges. Just these two badges and you can green every shot to like this this badge alone as you can see if you look at the description it says shots that are taken in a player's hot zones are given a boost this badge alone gives you so much of a boost in a hot zone bro like this right here adds basically like 20 to your attributes if you ask me bro this badge right here i would keep on hall of fame no matter like only if you if only if you get hall of fame but if you don't get hall of fame shooting badges then i wouldn't you know what i'm saying i wouldn't put it on or whatever i put it on gold but Whatever yo, however higher as your badges go, I will put this max, bro. Like if you get gold shooting badges, put this on gold. If you get this on Hall of Fame, put it on Hall of Fame. This badge right here must have also. Now, I see a lot of debate about this one. Some people say put Dead Out on silver. Some say Hall of Fame. I I've never went below Hall of Fame on my play shot to be real. And you know what I'm saying? I shoot I shoot good. You feel me? So look, I say put Dead Out on Hall of Fame. Now that being said, if you get open every play. And you know you got the movement for it. You know you good. You don't have to worry about no lock. Or you playing, you know what I'm saying? You playing something like where, like, I don't know, like, like, on parks or something where you don't really need to play for real. I would say put this on silver and, you know what I'm saying, use your other two, I mean, your other two badge, badges to uh, go towards something else. So, put this on Hall of Fame if that's not the case, bro, because that, this badge is the truth, like,
and two, especially for two, because you know you don't get the ball back. If you, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If the other team makes it, so two, this is especially good for a green machine. Now the next badge that I would say would be now the way I run my badges. Some people might do it different. Some people might put Tyler Shooter on Hall of Fame, and then this on Gold. But what I do is I put Clint Shooter on Hall of Fame. This badge right here, bro, like 16, 19, 18 to twenty. Something like that, bro. This badge comes in clutch on everything. You can hit, like, it, it gives you a boost in late game situations. Like, for your shots, it gives you a, re it even says it in the description. It says, shot attempts that occur during the final moments of the fourth quarter or in any overtime period receive a large boost. So, like, if you in a park or whatever, and it's like, the, the game is close, it's about the game about the end, it's like 18-18, this right here will give you a large boost boost bro that's why i say clip shooter on hall of fame bro this right here is the truth for any close game situations i would pick clip shooter the last ones i would pick pick on is tireless shooter now the reason why i say tireless shooter is because well now i got gym rat before i had gym rat i wouldn't put it on tireless shooter but now i got gym rat so i might change this around and i might put it on hot start and then put this on tireless shooter now that i got gym rat because i ain't gotta worry about my energy that much but if you don't have gym rat, definitely put this on gold, you know what I'm saying? Or take this off and put this on gold. Put the rest on volume shooter. That's what I would say. That's what my badges would be if you know what I'm saying, if I already had gym rat, but if you don't, put this on gold. Like I said, this what this do it gives you a uh, it gives you less of a uh, penalty when you got like your stamina blinking like when you run out of stamina or whatever. So that's what I would say for these. And you know what I'm saying? These is the best shooter badges. Like I said, all of these give you a major boost. Like I said, some of these you can probably change around. You can get away with. Like, put this on silver. You can probably put this on silver. And then put this on silver. That way you have an equal spread of all of them. Like I said, they all give you a boost. You have an equal spread of all of these badges. That's just for play shots. Like, for main main ball handlers. And you have one left. So I'd say put that on maybe clutch shooter. But these is the badges that I would run. Like I said, as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? These, this is just the badges I run. I only get 23 shooting badges. Imagine for the play shots, like my other play shot get 26. You know what I'm saying? Imagine for the people that get, that get more shooting badges. You're going to have more opportunities for some better stuff. You know what I'm saying? But these are my shooting badges. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into the gameplay to show y'all how I shoot with them.
Alright, bro, so that's it for the video. Hopefully, y'all boys enjoy it. If you did, make sure you drop that like button under the video. You feel me? Like I said, you know what I'm saying? We've been dropping straight bangers. So, look, make sure y'all boys drop a like button. And without further ado, we out. Soon.